You're right. Uh, uh, hi, everybody. I hope you can hear me. Can Can you hear me? Yes. Um, so just can Can we please have your attention? Thank you very much. Um, so we are advertising, right? Uh, but first, for those of you that are new to Lusaka, I thought I would point out that uh, Lusaka is one of those funny places where there is uh, very little to do. But um, if you have time, if you're still around, let's say up until Sunday, you might want to check out Chaminuka. Uh, there are quite a number of interesting activities, and I think there's a game drive that is offered. There's also a newly introduced place called Minus Game Ranch. Um, it's again 45 minutes from the CBD, somewhere along um, Leopard's Hill Road. You might want to check them out as well. Um, yeah, so I'm, like I said, I'm here to advertise. It turns out that uh, there's an event that is happening uh, in the next seven months, that's October. It's the 27th International uh, Symposium on Electronic Theses and Dissertations. And those of you that were paying attention during yesterday's presentation will have noticed that uh, um, Arena actually made mention of this. It turns out that Arena and myself both serve on the NDOTD board. Um, so please consider joining us. Um, so this year's theme is actually electronic thesis and dissertations, global visibility in the age of artificial intelligence. Uh, so the idea behind the conference really is we specialize on, or the conference is specialized on a specific scoring output, thesis and dissertations. Um, this event has been running since 1998 and is actually spearheaded by the Network Digital Library of Thesis and Dissertations. Um, you can look them up uh, online. You notice that there are a lot of amazing things that have been um, that have been done. Uh, it turns out that the Investor Zambia is actually co-hosting this event together with the High Education Authority and uh, uh, the Zambia Research and Education Network. Uh, I think we had a, a talk by the CEO yesterday. Uh, if you are thinking about participating, there's a number of ways you can participate. Um, we have uh, well three types of track on the tracks, I want to call them tracks here. So you can submit a research paper. So if you, let's say, have been working on um, um, interventions or projects, implementation projects that are centered around setting up of repositories, uh, you should consider submitting a paper there. If, if, if those sort of projects are currently work in progress, you can consider submitting a poster as well. Um, and then I think this mostly applies to the Oscar 2.0 project, it turns out that there's going to be a pre-conference event. So ideally you have workshops and tutorials that are held. So this is going to be held on the 29th of October. You may perhaps consider conducting a workshop that is centered around open science, uh, seeing as we expect to have quite a bit of participation from, from, from the African continent, especially people uh, uh, in, in the countries that are neighboring uh, the Republic of Zambia. You could also obviously consider uh, uh, attending the event as, as a delegate. Um, again, I made mention of the fact that this event is um, spearheaded by the NDOTD. Um, if you want to find out more about the NDOTD, the link is on the, uh, on the website. But one of the things that they do is they're behind uh, this global search service. Uh, so if you go to search.ndotd.org, um, what you'll be able to do is you can actually key in any search phrase and you get hits associated with dissertations that were focused on that particular uh, uh, search phrase. What you notice here, I think, of importance is that currently there's a total of about 6.4 million dissertations, right, indexed by the NDOTD. Um, and in fact, if you go to yet another, uh, another service that the NDOTD is a part of, you see a list of universities from around the world that are syndicating content to here. Now, the reason I'm saying this is, if, if you look at uh, where most of these institutions are located, what you notice is that there's underrepresentation when it comes to higher education institutions from, I think, what we may call the global south. Um, I mean, if you look at this heat map here, you notice that there's virtually nothing coming from uh, Africa with the exception of uh, South Africa, right? Um, less yellow, more, I guess this is purple or something. Um, if you go to OATD to try and get a better sense of which institutions are actually syndicating content, again, very nice stream up from OATD that showcases uh, 
where these uh, uh, dissertations are coming from, some metadata by the way, you notice that Africa is somewhere on the uh, bottom right quadrant. I don't know if you can see Africa, it's quite small there. The key takeaway point here is uh, there's, there's very little content, right, uh, coming from uh, the African continent, as, as it were. Uh, again, if you drill down onto Africa, same location, OATD.org, what you notice is that the vast majority of these dissertations are actually coming from countries like South Africa. And, uh, you know, I mean, there's Zambia right there, but this has about 2,000 records. The last time I checked, I think these records were only coming from uh, the investment of Zambia, I believe. Uh, it turns out that we, Zambia has quite a number of uh, higher education institutions. I'm doing a count today, and uh, we have a total of about 122 higher education institutions. Our goal this year is to try and see if we can get these other institutions uh, set up so that they can start sharing their dissertations. Um, it turns out I worked with, uh, I've worked with students in the past, master's students that have done interesting studies that showcase that we only have, uh, as of last year I think it was, we only have about six public higher education, well, six higher education institutions that have institutional repositories, functional institutional repositories. So thank you very much. Uh, I do hope uh, you consider joining us in October. So it'll be fun. It'll be in Livingston this time around. Thank you. I don't know if there are any questions. We can proceed with the workshops if there are no questions. Thanks.